But I mean, you know, Black Enforcer it was, it was a, tar- a memorable derby. Winner Roanoke was sensational here. So many wonderful dogs have won the Queensland Derby. Placard. Uh, you, you sort of, it's an injustice to, to not mention them all almost. The honour roll is, is quite superb. Anyway, that's race eight tonight. Bad luck for Peter Dapron that number one's a late scratching there. Zipping Brock was found to be injured at lunchtime today. A leg injury. OK, green light. Set for the first on Derby night. They're away, and High Radar began brilliantly, went to the early lead. I'm All Stripes is coming down the outside, and also Nala's Heart as they go to the first turn. Fem Jolly beaten for pace is one of the last. Into the back now, and going to the lead is Nala's Heart, and it raced away. Oh, it's about six in front. Wide out, I'm All Stripes trying to come after it, followed there by uh, Rolex, Rue, Hanson, Harley, and a long way back is High Radar, and then Fem Jolly, Dory Macken, Canisius Flyer, homeward bound in the first on Derby night. The front runner is Nala's Heart, and Nala's Heart will take the prize from I'm All Stripes, Rolex Rue was third, Ganesha's Flyer got up to grab fourth, and then came Hanson Harley, Dory Mack, High Radar, and Fem Jolly was always back with the cap catches. $21 for the first winner. Seven Nala's Heart for Bob Henderside, 21, 10, and 4.30. Six I'm All Stripes, 2.80. Five Rolex Rue, $1.40. I thought the three might have grabbed fourth, and it has. Seven, six, five, and three. Two Doc Graham. At four dollars eighty. Good, Dave. Yeah, classy blonde. My, my numbers are the same as Dave uh, in the mixture. I've gone two, three, four, and eight. Green lights on. Race two on Derby night about to happen. Ready. Racing. Out fast there was Chariots of Fire. Goes to the early lead from Classy Blonde. Wider out came Warina Lace and just back behind those was Obama Lace as they go out of the straight. Where Chariots of Fire raced away. It's about four lengths in front of Classy Blonde. Followed there by Warina Lace getting to third although Doc Graham's kicking up and then came Crimson Tide. Well back out of proceedings. Prince Harry, Macy's Dora and Obama Lace coming around the turn. It's a one act affair. Chariots of Fire from Classy Blonde and Chariots of Fire beat Classy Blonde. Getting up for third. Prince Harry I'd say in front of Doc Graham. Followed there by Obama Lass, Crimson Tide, Macy's Dora and Warina Lass was last. Big win, three chariots of fire, 350 and 160. One classy blonde, 190 and eight Prince Harry at 450. Winner's going to record about 30 and 10. 30 and 16 is uh, what they do round them off to um, an exact figure eventually in 30 and 16 the time. By chariots of fire, by a bit chilly out of Elite Angel, Ross Ogden. For the rock, paper, scissors. Thomas Gold, box two. Good day, thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm with Farmer's Gold here. It's ironic, eh? Hey, there's a late scratching in the derby. Farmer's Gold was number nine for the derby. But didn't get a start, but we got a late scratching in that race. Anyway, we'll see what happens here. Green light away for oh, Mr. Farmer's Gold. Out fast was Willie B. Tops. Down the outside comes Vanilla Bliss and Give You Credit's going to spear across and lead the lot of them. Out of the straight, Give You Credit with a tremendous turn of foot. It's raced, oh, it must be 10 in front of Farmer's Gold coming to second, followed by Willie B. Tops, and then came out of boy Ted. Well back out of proceedings, Premier's Rain, Dare to Tell, Essie's Boy and Vanilla Bliss, the last one. Coming around the corner, the front runner is Give You Credit. Farmer's Gold's making up a stack of ground but give you credit in front give you credit just from farmers gold i'd say it's pretty close third then would go to attaboy ted and willie b tops probably fourth in front of farmers rain uh, premier's rain rather then came uh, behind these was attaboy ted in company there with dare to tell has the eight held on oh gee not much in it is there i'd say yeah it's got there the eight scrambles across the line in front number eight give you credit over two farmers goal. That was closer than most people thought. Yeah, it was a nose. Nose margin. Then no. Seven ten metres. She laces ladies got the mileage in her legs over this journey. She's four ten. Late Angel Lee box one one dollar eighty. Green light. Race four. Off they go, Late Angel Lee about fourth into stride. Now he's rushing up on the inside. Yes, he's going to take the lead from Fair Upper and Betty's Memory. They're followed then by Golfing Amy Gangnam Stride. Shoelaces Lady got a long way back and never tell his last. What is this? Warnerbull. This is go hard or go home. Late Angel Lee out of the straights race 15 lengths in front. I've never tell into second placing. I reckon a few of these might lose sight of the lure. Golfing Amy third, followed there by Gangnam Stride, Shoelaces Lady. And further back then was Fair Upper. And Betty's memory has gone amiss and is tailed off. Late Angel Lee still 15 in front. It won't get tired now. 15 in front around the corner. The others are playing and Late Angel Lee bolted in. Late Angel Lee at the wire, 12 and a half lengths. 
Shoelaces Lady second, fair up a third. They're followed then by probably never tell in fourth placing from Gangnam Stride Golfing, Amy. But gee, you couldn't blame those uh, backmarkers for losing sight of the lure because Late Angel Lee and the lure are a mile in front of them and Betty's memory has failed to complete the course. Well, I said he'd win by a long way or nothing. <laughs> That's half right. One Late Angel Lee, $1.70, $1.40. Now, where's the time? 42.41. 42.41. Late Angel Lee, 11 links the winning margin, 42.41 the time. That was Greyhound 1. Third race went to the 8, give you credit for Peter Rucci in 30.02. Race 2 to number 3, Chariots of Fire, Ross Ogden in 30.16. And, and the opener, 7 Nala's Hut for um, Bob Henderside in 30.29. Capella Borough got their derby and futurity heats this Saturday and I'm sure the club would be very happy with the, uh, the quality and the numbers of noms. Three heats of each. They're really good heats on Saturday afternoon down the straight. Green light here. Away now. Wagtails come away about midfield. Set her again, began brilliantly and went straight out to the early lead from Charter up to second, followed by Body Line and then came Wagtail and just ahead of that was I Am I Said. Then Cute to Boot and Pure White Cloud and the last one is Woo Hoo. Down the back and set her again out by four or five lengths on Charter. The rails then was Body Line, three to Wagtail, trying to make ground, followed by I Am I Said, Cute to Boot, Woo Hoo and Pure White Cloud coming around the corner. It's all set her again though. D Carls has tipped us another one. Winner. Set her again, romped it in. Second went to Wagtail. Third, body line and the charter ran fourth but fell just past the wire. Um, looks okay though. That's sort of disorganised the run on. Behind them I am, I said, with pure white cloud, cute to boot and woo-hoo. Five, set her again. Good tip, D. Carlson. 660 and 190. Seven, Wagtail, 140. Three, body line, $1.30. And Charter did a dipsy doodle just past the line, but has wound up fourth, number six, officially fourth. Peter Roichi at 380. Then you go Celtic Diva number one at $6.10 on the third line for Pat Mannery. Ipswich Greys in Queensland tomorrow at twilight, first just before four o'clock, 3.57 to be precise. Sunshine Coast Gallops on tomorrow afternoon. The first up there of eight at 12.28. Righto, green lights on. 360, You Say So, number two, back in her favourite. Ready? Racing, You Say So out only fairly. Celtic Diva won the jump from You Say So, going to second from R8 and was his fantasy. Then T Brady and Space Wave, Thunder of Speed, is one of the last going out of the straight with Moss Gambo. Into the back and Celtic Diva about a length clear of You Say So. One length away, Thunder of Speed. And they're followed by T Brady is working to the outside from Space Wave and R8 and well out of it then was Moss Gambo and was his fantasy around the corner. It's Celtic Diva and You Say So. Celtic Diva with a good kick though, got away again. Celtic Celtic Diva beat You Say So. Third Thunder of Speed. Fourth, I'm not sure. It's either R8 or T Brady in a very busy finish. Moss Gambo Space Wave just back behind those with um, Was's Fantasy between them. It'll be, let's have a look at this. One, two, four, and five, I'd say. One, two, four, five, it looks like. Yep, there they are. One, two, four, five in the frame. Celtic Diva, 480 and 150. You Say So, 160. Seven and one. One hit as they have been boxed. So I thought it was a bit light at 20. Anyway, it's 47,000 in the trifecta pool on Tats Bet with a $10,000 jackpot component. This is race seven. Raging Obsession, $2.90. Banakan, 360. Green light. They're off. Out fast, White Hornet, tackled down the middle here by Where's the Surf, who goes to the lead, and Frosty JJ is back behind those, and Raging Obsession is last going out of the straight, where Where's the Surf a length and a half, Frosty JJ close enough if good enough. Lineup boys went to third, then came White to Hornet, Banak and midfield from Massa Time, and Raging Obsession last, coming off the back, and Frosty JJ went up on the outside and put the bib in front of Where's the Surf, and then came Lineup boys, Frosty JJ's back in town, away he goes, and Frosty JJ from the fast finishing Banakan. Where's the surf third? Line up boys fourth. I can hear Bunny Brash cheering. Then came White Hornet as a time and Raging Obsession and John Brash's uh, Tats Bet charity uh, bet for Gap has saluted here with Frosty JJ at $7. Six Frosty JJ, $7 and two seventy. Four Banakan will grab second. Yes it has. Ahead of five Where's the Surf and then seven line up boys. Six, four, five, seven. Thousand. Rightio, Dave, thanks a lot. Kibo's a dollar eighty, number two on Tatsbet. Eight size does matter, three eighty. 
Yep, box for the Group 2 derby. Kibo $1.80 box 2. Size does matter. Three eighty box 8. Green light. Set. Off. Kibo begins nicely. Coming across though is Flash Reality. And Flash Reality leads Kibo into the first turn with Grand Roman going up into third. Being passed now by Peter's pick. Well back is TJ's Grand Angevella. And Size Does Matter couldn't get across on the wide draw in his last. Flash Reality by two lengths on Kibo as they come off the back. Peter's pick is third. Followed there by Grand Roman. On the turn Flash Reality. Kibo's got to dig deep. Here he comes up on the inside. Flash Reality still in front though. Flash Reality has won by a half length to Kibo. Peter's pick third and Grand Roman ran fourth. Then came Size Does Matter, TJ's Grand and Ange Valor in about 29 and 7. It will be a new race record. Five flash reality for Tony Brett. Won a heat of the Rockhampton Cup last night with Exhibitionist. Wins the Queensland Derby final tonight. 29.69, which by coincidence is what Size Does Matter ran last week. But he wasn't in the finish tonight. It was flash reality with a brilliant beginning. People like it. It's got good form for sure. I just worried about the box draw. Five young jades at five ten. Three Costa Khan at six sixty. So no green light. Race nine Brisbane ready. Off. Oh, shot to bits. Bungled the start. Gemma Jewel pinged and went straight to the lead. Shot to bits is second last. Gemma Jewel down to the first turn. Has got away by a length and a half or so on. Young Jade rallying nicely after it. Three lengths away came Trident. Royal Albert went through to fourth, followed by Out of Tempo. And then TJ's Tiger shot to bits and Costa Khan the last one. Young Jade took over off the back. Got away from Gemma Jewel and is looking pretty good. Then came Trident and further back was Out of Tempo. Hello, the leader's gone a miss. Gemma Jewel get through. Flashing shot to bits. What a race. Shot to bits is one from out of tempo, Trident and Gemma Jewel. Behind them then came Royal Albert Costa Carmel. I'm assuming young Jade went amiss. It went from leading to getting swamped and TJ's Tiger alongside of those. That's a strange race. Seven shot to bits. 3.30 and 1.10. From a photo, one Gemma Jewel found herself in front again after the, uh, the five here on Sunday. Forward they go, 3.30 now, number three, Galway Tornado. Green lights on. Last on Derby night, about to happen. Ready? Racing, Galway Tornado popped out only fairly. Arabian Oracle began brilliantly and has gone to the lead from Galway Tornado. Spencer George and down the outside was Don't Blink. Behind these then came Rainbow Rex and Bellissimo Bell, Woobera Surf and Only Ascent. Along the back they go, Arabian Oracle out by four to Galway Tornado. A couple to Don't Blink and further back was Bellissimo Bell, but on the home turn, Arabian Oracle still by about four on Galway Tornado and then came Don't Blink, but Arabian Oracle is clear. Arabian Oracle wins the last from uh, Don't Blink second. Type third, probably Bellissimo Bell just in front of Galway Tornado. Behind those then came Woobera Surf. Followed by only Ascent, Rainbow Rex and Spencer George, one of the last. Arabian Oracle for Brian Baker, formerly of Dubbo. More recent times on the Northern Rivers of New South Wales. 3.30 and 1.90 for five Arabian Oracle. Early speed wins the race. Eight second. And that's...